Beste dames en heren, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends of Orpheus Institute, a very warm welcome and thank you all for being with us tonight to celebrate our 20 years. We shall not turn. Yet, celebrating 20 years creates an almost irresistible enticement to turn and to get a glimpse of the road we crafted. No, let us not turn our eyes, fearing the risk we know, but let us turn our thoughts for a while, as if this would not be that risky. 1996, 20 years ago, in a very lucid and daring moment, the Flemish government, and more specifically, the Ministry of Education, decided to create an institute and left the mission open to be worked out by those starting the initiative. It was a time when research was not part of the daily jargon of a conservatoire, let alone part of its daily activity. With its laureate program, Office nestled at the intersection of artistic practice and reflection on that practice. And this turned out to be a fortunate decision. In fact, we laid the foundations for what was a next milestone, as already mentioned by Pascal, in 2004, Tocartes was born, a, a doctoral program for performers and composers run at Orpheus Institute, but together with our great and long-standing partners from The Hague, Leiden and Amsterdam, and followed soon by our colleagues from the conservatories and universities in Leuven and Antwerp. Until today, the international and inter-university character grants this program a very distinctive spirit. And our partners from the first hour are still our partners to date, after 12 years, which is something we value immensely. In 2008 followed the next milestone, the birth of Office Research Center. Education and research are the intertwined cornerstones of Office. And from that year, from 2008 onwards, the pleasure of supporting Office Institute financially was distributed amongst the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Economy, Science and Innovation. Artistic research, that strange exotic phenomenon under the auspices of a Ministry of Science and Innovation. That was quite an innovation. We had to make the point that all that holds true for research in the established disciplines is also valid for the research in and through musical practice. And as different as the research results might appear to be, the processes, the epistemological drive and empirical rigor with which research projects in the arts are undertaken remain the same. As in a life cycle, the first 20 years are undoubtedly very important. Identity forms through snuffling and discovering the world, knowledge gathering, building relationships, making choices. We do not need here to give an historical overview in full detail, but one thing remained a constant over these years. The path in front of us was not paved and it still isn't. So, after early childhood and adolescence, indeed, Orpheus is now a young adult, fully committed to continue the long advance of research conducted by artists. We shall not turn. Yet, it is important to stop from time to time and remind ourselves of what we are advancing. It is possible to build huge conceptual and operational systems around music research and doctoral education and in the process 
lose sight of the fundamental goal. And that is building, providing the discipline with an instrument, a critical think tank, an organism that stimulates questioning the practices of the discipline. And indeed, the world has come to recognize that artists also work with modes of knowledge that can be explored and advanced, and that this exploration itself becomes an expert practice. The innovation led by Orpheus was to put the musician at the center, as researcher and not as object of research, and to seek knowledge that can only be known through musical acts. Research where the artist makes the difference. Not because they are researchers, but because they are in the first place highly skilled, multi-talented musicians who cannot avoid having questions. They bring into concreteness something that is inherent in art. And today, Orpheus Institute has built a viable critical mass of musician researchers and has a fully equipped research center, has educational settings intertwined with research activities, acts internationally as a hub for artist researchers, attracts top-notch visiting artists, and has built long-term partnerships and collaborates closely with numerous institutions around the world. And we are really talking about close relationships, long-standing, loyal, inspiring relationships. And tonight, we have here representatives and friends from partner institutions in Norway, Finland, Sweden, Holland, Austria, Switzerland, France, UK, Italy, Spain, Canada, Australia, Singapore, United States, probably a non-exhaustive list, but a very impressive one. Your presence, you, our friends, your presence today is a gesture that means a lot to us, a one that we appreciate highly. <coughs> we shall not turn. Indeed, celebrating 20 years brings also a responsibility to reflect on the future. Artistic research should be seen as a crucial practice far beyond the artistic research community and the art world only. It is a crucial practice for the whole society. And I quoted the 2015 spring publication Arts, Research, Innovation and Society. Research, artistic research and innovations play an important role in defining new forms of knowledge and knowledge production. Artistic research and innovations have been major transformers as well as disruptors of the ways in which societies, economies and political systems perform. Creativity in general and the arts in particular are increasingly recognized as drivers of cultural, economic, political, social and scientific innovation and development. End of quote. This has profound consequences for the practice and understanding of music, and especially for higher music education. The introduction of a best practice is often considered to be a challenge one should go for. But artist researchers critically question their practices. They do not aim at developing a best practice, but thinking ahead are aiming at next practices. Best practices do not equal innovation. Next practices do. It is therefore Orpheus' responsibility to act as a facilitator to support the most creative and imaginative artist researchers who act as guides on the road towards these next practices. Serving as a director of this institute over the past 20 years has been one of the greatest learning opportunities of my life. And I feel deeply honored to have been entrusted with the direction of this institute for two decades now. As a personal note, I can say that serving Office Institute resonates with all the things I hold dear. 
great people, great artists, great ideas, and a great mission that is as relevant today as it was when we started in 96. From a small local project, Orpheus transformed into a small but internationally renowned institute. Orpheus today has a leading voice in artistic research, and this has been a fabulous work made possible by many. The Flemish government was a believer from the very beginning, and I am extremely proud to announce tonight that the Flemish government, more specifically the Ministry of Science and Innovation, you remember, has recently decided, after having evaluated our work and after having concluded that the impact and productivity relative to the investment has been enormously high, the Minister has decided to increase the structural funding by no less than 85%. Given the fact that we got or get our structural funding from two ministries, this represents a global increase of 25%. I can't claim that it would be as impressive if I had given the absolute figures, but the value funds are quite important. And this is for us a quantum leap. It's a sign of recognition for which we are very grateful. We also thank the different private foundations. We thank our partners in Flanders, the conservatoires and the universities of the four associations. And we thank our partners in the Netherlands, in The Hague, Leiden and Amsterdam. And our partners abroad, and especially our partners in the Connext Group. We thank the members of the Board of Governors, with its inspiring chair, Johan Hus, The members of our International Research Advisory Council. And last, but certainly not least, à la place d'honneur, those that day after day are making it happen. An extremely dedicated staff, always ready to guide and support Orpheus in his way up to the light. Our doctor students, our researchers, our principal investigators leading the different research groups, our director of research, Jonathan Impert. They all are this institute's backbone, the real capital of Orpheus Institute. Dear friends, over the past 20 years, we navigated our way without having a fixed roadmap. The ambition to create a thriving research environment for musicians served as a compass. For the future, rather than marking out the path and trying to create a map, Orpheus will continue using that compass, an instrument that may lead us towards a destination we never could have known in advance. We will not turn. Thank you very much.